By a public statement issued on February 27, 2013, the University of Ghana gave notice that it was about to begin major road construction and rehabilitation works on selected roads leading to and from the Ligon campus. Among the reasons for the rehabilitation of the roads were the build-up of vehicular traffic on the campus, following the diversion of traffic from what used to be the Achimota Road and from the Ilbiri Road to Accra, had caused considerable deterioration in the conditions of the roads. The uncharacteristically heavy traffic, which slows down movement of staff and students considerably, whilst affecting academic work significantly and endangering the lives of members of the university community. The deterioration in condition of all roads had become very costly. One of the reasons, I believe, or there are very three reasons that the university had used for the tolling. One was to decongest, I believe, the roads, the university roads to start with. The university roads have always been private roads. Ever since I went to the university in 1972, 71, when I was in the university, when the uh, number of vehicles on the roads were rather small, the roads were still private. And they were private all the way to the Achimota police station. So for anybody to tell me that they are not private roads and for the public roads, I disagree. It is quite unbearable. Uh, especially at peak times, in the morning, um, early morning, around 7 to 7.30, uh, in the evening, around 5 o'clock. It's a bit of a struggle, especially if you are going off um, campus. It's, 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 it's terrible. Note this, for us to be able to ensure quality learning and to impart knowledge for students to be able to imbibe, we should also be able to create serene and conducive environment and atmosphere. In my view, the current traffic situation on campus does not provide that conducive environment for learning. Well, the university opens its doors for all cars to enter. And you have to be there to see in the morning the number of cars that enter the university and those that are exiting. It's very appalling because you end up fighting, students like us end up fighting with or contending with um, road users, that the vehicle users for space when we are rushing to come um, for lectures. I think it's actually undermining the role of the university in providing an unobstructed way for students to go for lectures and end up having our lectures coming into class very late. Residential neighborhoods are residential neighborhoods not meant for heavy traffic. My main concern is the dangers that uh, it, uh, it poses to residents, particularly the children. When cars decide that they are going to use this as an alternate route because the main road is choked, they really endanger children's lives. The selected roads for reconstruction were the Anijagi Road Extension, accessed from Kwabinga Road, and other crucial link roads of the university, which had become thoroughfares for vehicles entering campus. A crucial input to this laudable initiative was funding, thus the university sought for a loan. After going through the various legitimate processes, procedures and consultation with various stakeholders, including the Central Tender Board under the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning, the university was ready to start the project. Speaking at the sword cutting ceremony, the Minister for Roads and Highways, Mr. Enim Amidu Suleimani, lauded university officials for the initiative. I also want to acknowledge that it is important that uh, the university has initiated this laudable idea and uh, also to toll the rules and ensure that we get the necessary revenue to continue to maintain the very road and other roads in the university but the difficulty is that we are all interested in very good roads but uh, we are not ready to contribute to their maintenance i think the university has taken a very 
bold decision to construct these roads and to toll them. The university used various platforms to inform not only members of the university community, but the general public that the university will charge a toll applicable to all vehicles entering the Legon campus upon completion of the project. The university um, decided to um, charge the tolls um, so that the, the, the traffic on campus can be reduced considerably. I think that we, we should have engaged in the public much more rigorously and let them appreciate the philosophy behind, the rationale behind, and then let the people even become sympathetic to the policy that we are going to you know, you know, implement. Well, maybe there should have been more sensitization, you know, programs and educative programs to let people understand even the need for us to toll our roads. I think it's because they haven't understood the issues. And if they really understand that this is an academic community and we need some level of serenity to enable us go about our duties, to enable us do our teaching and our learning and our research work, then I guess that they would be more charitable towards us. If people ref really reflect, they will understand that, you know, while they can access the university and they should be able to access the university, they cannot use a university as a thorough fair. In introducing the user charges, the university sought to achieve three things. Deter drivers with no legitimate business at Legon from entering the campus. Generate revenue for servicing the 8 million Ghana City loan facility utilized for the roads rehabilitation project. And to generate a steady income stream for the maintenance of the roads and other road infrastructure into the future. 12 months later, on the heels of the completion of the project, the university gave notice of starting to apply road user charges for motorists entering the Legon campus. Mindful of the need to avoid inconvenience to the motoring public, the university took several preventive measures to avoid the build-up of traffic upon introduction of the road user charges. For example, the collection points at the stadium road entrance was moved further into the university. The university also provided an alternative temporary access road at South Legon. On February 18, 2014, personnel from the Office of the National Security Coordinator demolished a toll booth and a security post, which were under construction on the Legon campus. The National Security Coordinator later confirmed the act. It's a new one, and, and it is my responsibility to remove it immediately. An emergency meeting of the University Council was held to deliberate on this incident. Council passed on the sentiments of members regarding the incident to the Presidency. As a response to the request from government, the University Council and management of the University announced the suspension of user charges on the University roads three weeks after the introduction of road user charges. Uh, I, I believe a survey was done um, prior to this and um, the results was that about 16,000 cars ply this uh, campus on a daily um, basis. I think that the university should be accessible but it should be accessible to those who want to have business at the university. You want to do business with the university, sure, come on campus, we invite you, I mean we're a public university. Since uh, the cessation of this uh, toll, the traffic situation is, is, is unbearable, it's suffocating. And I think that uh, the earlier something is done about it, uh, the better. Now even if in the interim the university is not going to collect the tolls, we should go back and reinstate those measures. There are certain routes which must not necessarily be used if you don't have a sticker because and that operates in virtually every institution. The university management is obligated to the members of the university community i.e. the students, faculty and workers that the environment here is conducive for teaching and learning and university work in general. I also agree with the fact that we should toll these rules because at the time when we needed money to have these roads repaired, nobody came to our aid. 
We also made sure that the university gave land for alternate routes. One, the power road by Gempa, and the other one from the golf house. So, and the international standards for all the tolling of routes is that there must be alternate routes. And we provided that. As has been intimated from March 15, 2014, new arrangements on public access to the Legon campus have been publicized. The Stadium Road entrance, which is the Okpung Road Junction, to the university, for the time being, designated the main entrance to the university, will remain open 24 hours a day to the general public. Members of the general public seeking to enter the university campus for any reason are advised to use this entry point and will also be required to exit the campus by the same road. In my view, it's not a new measure. I mean, it used to be there. There were um, exit points and entry points that had de designations, no UJ sticker, no entry, no UJ sticker, no exit. It was there until we started this tolling arrangement. It was there already. And so if you are revisiting that arrangement, I mean, I think it is, it is, it is, it is, it is all in the interest of ensuring that we have a regular flow of traffic and then also we create a conducive environment for learning. I think the new directives will discourage people who want an easy way to the other side of town by using uh, the university. So it will discourage them because there are cost implications. And so you will think twice, unless you really, really need to use this road, you, you, you think twice because it will cost you. At the end of the day, what we are insisting is that for commercial drivers, maybe or for taxi drivers who come in, the one, that one is it, that same policy still persists. The idea is for security reasons. You leave something there, maybe your driver's license or something, you come back for it. The idea is that if you're going to engage in any illegal activities, you understand, there is a tendency that you can easily be traced. But why restrict some roads on the Legon campus? Even though the University of Ghana is publicly owned, it has always been and remains private property as defined by law. Legon roads are not public thoroughfare. It creates significant congestion at crucial times. It poses safety and security challenges for members of the university community, especially our students. Those who are serious and really need um, to obtain UG stickers must apply if the university feel that they would want to give them that permission to, 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 to drive through um, campus, so be it. But you must go through some process before you acquire. And then also, I don't think that now the university is saying we are shutting our doors. There are designated areas that ordinary people, you know, the public can drive through and, you know, go, go to the university. I think there should be a road, like a main route for normal commercial cars to come into the school so that we, the students of the school, can get our own routes to go for lectures, come to lectures early, not be late. The university routes are not for our first. If for one reason or the other, the university wants to make it available for people to be able to use it to move from one place to the other, from the Achimota area or whatever, through to the East Legon area. Somebody has to pay for one, the routes that were done and two for the maintenance of the road. So, from March 15, 2014, the University of Ghana will enforce the publicized information on public access to Legon campus. The university appeals for the understanding and cooperation of the general public. Mm -hmm.